Right, and welcome back to one field at a time you join us on our autumn trip and um, for autumn bank holiday and we're heading to haven skegness and um, which is i think their latest um acquisition in terms of a pack so we're going to give you our thoughts we're there for five nights probably won't block vlog the full five nights but we'll vlog some bits show you some bits what we get up to and stuff like that and show you a little bit of the site um, and what have you so yeah so come along join us we're about an hour and a half away and we'll see you when we get there Right then, so. Yep, so that's us arrived. We've just been checked in by the lovely Graham who was on the barrier. He made sure Georgie got a biscuit as soon as we arrived, which was a nice little touch, wasn't it? Which was good. Not a bad drive, nice and steady, really. Um, and what have you, the site getting to, you've got to like come through the centre of Se Skegness, which is a bit of a pain, but if buses can get down there, so can we, eh? So yeah, so Sammy's just gone to check us in and then we'll find out where our pitch is and we'll get pitched up and then we'll give you a quick look around where we're at. Uh, that is us arrived and near enough set up. Just a quick one to do it. Don't look level at all that, but spirit level says it's level. And we've got Mr. Harry. Oh, that was boggy. We've got Mr. Harry on water duties. Is it running slow or quick? Do that, but when you do that, it's... Mm, yeah. There you go. Trusty old collapse pipe as well. So that's been one of the best buys I've had that. Going to sites and there's no pipe. A little collapse pipe that packs away. Really good. Alright, let's get these finished up and then we can get the tanks loaded. Harry's done a quick check out of the bathrooms and he's found the family bathroom and apparently there's a beggar at the end of the bath, so he's gonna go show you. Got the chemical disposal pipe, which is pretty much just the waste. Got a shower in the accessible toilets. So I was showing you the family one. I'm trying to see if I can show you the mill. So this is a changing area. It's all pretty nice and clean. Ooh. One or two toilets here a bit. Oh yeah, pretty box standard really. And the other animals. They do look a bit very clean. We'll see if we can. Here's showers. Um, yeah, not the greatest. So. To say it's one of their new sites and I think the facilities over there are really good apparently. This could do with a good refit. I don't think they've touched this. So yeah, so yeah. Not so good on this, but I suppose it's what you get in these sites sometimes. 
However, but the touring site is really quiet. We've been half time, I was expecting it to be really, really busy, in all fairness. Most of the pitch is full, but it's really not. There's no hard standing, so that might put people off the grounds a little bit wet. Um, but I'll turn you around and you'll see there's absolutely. Oops, you turn around. No one about. So yeah, it's Tuesday, so it might fill up Friday as people come for the weekend. But yeah, we've been out time, you think a lot of people would be off. Hello. Oh, what's Neve doing? Well, we oh. are decorating the caravan. Decorating for Halloween, so. All that. And they're meant to be showing you what they've got, because this is a yeah, Timu hall. This is something different. Alright, oh, more stuff. Alright then, so they're going to show you right, what so. they've got from Timu. I'm not standing here while you're showing them now. Alright then, on the pot. Hello. So, we went, bought some stuff from Timu. I bought stuff for the awning and we haven't brought the awning. I'm just taking up the phone. So we bought some hanging. We bought some balloons from Helen. And they all light up, so you got three in a pack. So they all need to be put Mama, up somewhere. Bigger. We bought oh, do you like my light? If you can even see it. some pumpkins for the kids to walk around with. They're real cute actually. Right, right, they and they also light up. This lights up. So, yeah. It's a little lantern. It's so a cute. cute lantern. Cute lantern. What else do you have for me? Right, so there can... Look how cute it is, it's so cute. We've got two of them. Bought them from home. Oh uh, yeah, it don't work because that's the one to put them there. We've got cobwebs, but these yeah. are awful. Me and Neve have been attacked everywhere we go with them. Yeah. we bought George a pumpkin outfit. Do you want to see him in it? We'll show it when we put him in fancy dress, can't we? So that's his new pumpkin outfit. He does have a spider man, a spider yeah, one, doesn't spider. he? But we got something new for a change. Yeah. Neve wanted to get him a pumpkin, so we got him a pumpkin. Yeah. So, so we got glow in the dark stickers, yeah. which will go on the window as well. Turn around. This is weird. We got a spooky noise thing. So it flashes and it picks up certain people and then it'll make weird noises which also was meant which was also meant was also stop it. Was also meant for the car um awning. But we forgot to bring the awning. Yeah. Here's the menu. Guide for they it. They don't need to see it. They don't need to see it. They just yeah, need to see this. Yeah, no, so that needs putting somewhere where we forget about it and it picks you up as you come in the act in. What else did we get? Another lantern. When Neve stops breaking it. So you just is that one pulled out? Yeah. No, it's not. No. So you pull them out and you turn them on. This is before and that's after. That was very cute. So cute. And now and then we got we got I don't even know what that is. Batteries. A wall sticker. A wall sticker, wow. Which was a bit pricey, to be honest. And then we got these. We got these thing images. That which are also light up. Yeah, everything lights up. 
Do you want my thingy mill, Bob? So these are going to go around the caravan. Do you want my thingy mill, Bob? When thingy -mill, Bob. it's got some lights. Thingy -mill, Bob. And I think that was it. So what we bought yeah. was 20, £29, which I thought, for what I got, I could have gone to probably pound shop, to be honest, Thingy and probably got more for my money. But these are good. You got six of them, and they're going to the ground. Yeah, so we'll, we'll show you when we're finished. Hi, everybody. So Neve's going to show you what it looks like in the caravan. Explaining each thing happening. Mm -mm. You're talking. What? You're talking. Turn around then. Didn't just want to see that one. I know. I will drink me tight. And you light that lights up, you've got that in the corner, haven't you now? Mm -hmm. All your spooky stuff. We've got spooky plates, look, for when we have a Halloween tea. <coughs> Christine bought us them last year. The ghosty. Ghosty. Halloween cat. I really cat. like that. Cute. I want to to put it up myself. It up. And then caution tape and all that. Cautions, lanterns, lights, the bat. The scary witch in the corner. Freaks me out the time. That and on a night we'll show you what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna we'll put the light. Oh uh, yeah. Dad can go and show him what's outside. Go on, go for a walk. Yeah. 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 It's coming for a little walk. Get our bearings as we usually do as soon as we get set up. So we're all set up sorted, so we're gonna come for a little walk. Just a nice little cut through so you come left out of the sight by the look of it our first thoughts and then you cut through this nice little like pagoda bit by the look of it it's got to go left then right and then just appear it's not a real big sight so i don't think we'll be walking too much So it brings you straight out to the complex. It all looks really nice. Outdoor bar and that, but it's great in the summer. Although it's like summer today in all fairness, so probably could put an outdoor event on. And they've got a doggy park as well, so we're gonna go suss it out. Can do, yeah. No area you can get out, is there? <laughs> I really. Look at him. Come on in. Oh yes, this is really good. A little backyard for George having a little run around. He's got to come here on his own. This is a bit of a pain with other dogs. All right, with family dogs, but other people's dogs, he just gets in the faces too much. Ignoring the kids, he's having a good sniff. Family arcade, I'm sure the kids will show you in there at some point. The main bit where I reckon the show bar is. And the arcade. And you've got your Burger King and Papa John's just up here. Dog marking. And you got the Richmond Arms where the dogs are allowed in, I think. So I'm sure we will sample what's on offer in there. They're in grill. Burger King. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
Oh, that's good enough. Shallow and 0.9, so you need to put the floor on the shallow end. I can put the floor better than Yeah. I'm not that shallow. That's nice. There's a park. There's another park. I'm going to put them in the park. There's another park, isn't it? You what, sorry? Like oh, that's the Nerf gun place. Where is it? Yeah, so you do like Nerf Wars. There's a good little path. Nice big Adam. Alright, let's go see where the dog can sit. Alright then, so that's us. We stopped for a pan and some nachos. And what have you, I'm gonna, I think we're gonna have a quiet night tonight, so we're gonna have a bite to eat back at the caravan and watch a spooky movie for Halloween, yeah? Beetle and I'll watch Beetlejuice. Yeah, watch Beetlejuice. Oh, watch, your, watch the mud, watch the mud, guys. So it is all really muddy. I Yeah. They're really muddy with all the rain we've had and stuff like that and all the cars and things. What do you think of the park and what have you? Good. Is it good? Made a few friends. So neat as always. Makes a few good friends here. Yeah? And hopefully see them in the show bar over the next few days and stuff. Um, and what have you. So yeah, so we will go back to the caravan and we'll see you guys in a bit. Was this all when we walked past earlier? Yeah. It's a bit of a, a bit of a large amount of setting up to do in like say so an hour or two. <laughs> so yeah, so again we've got our own personal stretch again. I wonder whether we've got any neighbours. Oh yeah, we're going to carve some pumpkins before tea and we'll show you our Halloween decorations for this year on the outside. So yeah, you're really not... these sponges that mummy got. You're really not far from the clubhouse. Five minute walk, which is handy. It's a nice little sight. Yeah. Five minutes. Well, to see it when it's all lit up on a night, our lights. We'll show you like the full thing in a minute. Our things are all rolling up. We'll dive it won't be it. In a if you go cover the um, solar panel, they might light up. That? Then uh, on the floor, the black thing on the floor, Neve, the solar panel, put your hand over it. There you go, you see him? Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we've got... They're lighting up! Yeah. Them you have to cover your hands. Put, put your hands over there. Yeah, you'll see him tonight, darling.
now it's time for tea. So tonight we're having tandoori chicken legs on like flatbreads, a bit of salad, onion bhaji rings, and some rice and stuff. So something a little bit different for us. And we've got some nice sweet chili sauce and stuff to go with it as well. So something different for the kids to try. We're like triple bagged of chicken so they don't go all over the place. But yeah, who would have thought at uh, this time of year cooking outside on the barbecue? Spot on. Smells lovely. Uh, chicken legs, it's a nice red curry paste. Bit of yogurt, bit of red food colouring. And we slashed them up as well to get some real nice char marks on them. And then Can't beat cooking outside. Right, let's get with these chickeny fingers, see how these go. So we're also sampling some different ciders as well. So we've got roast cider to give it a go. It's something a little bit different for the weekend. Let's give it a little taste test. Smells nice and sweet. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. See myself enjoying a few of them. All right then, let's see how these chicken legs are going and we'll see you guys in a bit. All right then, so these chicken legs are smelling really nice. Let's check what they look like. Let's turn you around, see if we can get you in the shot. The camera's making it look quite light actually. It's really dark out here now. Look at them. Coming on nicely. I reckon another 15, 20 minutes or so. Let them looking lovely. Yeah, we'll show you the finished product when we're done. Really nice atmosphere out here today, actually, really nice. So it's really quiet. And so, like, the few families that are about, I just like pumpkin sort of carving and stuff like that and things. And so, sort of everyone's getting their decorations out and stuff. So, yeah, really good. And we can see how our pumpkins look, starting to light up. Wait to see how our lights are on and we'll get the guys to show you. See if we can have to do a spooky walk later on. I don't think they will there. So, yeah, so we'll see you in a bit when we're eating our tea. Alright. So that's tea served, so we've got our tandoori chicken legs, look at that, look. Barbecuing, flatbreads. You and Harry and we've got to some eat. rice and some mayonnaise for Neve. Oh my gosh. So yeah, let's get stuck into this and we'll see what it's like. Good morning everyone, so you join us on our first morning after our first night last night and we had a good night's sleep last night and um, temperature was lovely actually, I was expecting it to get really cold and the heating and stuff like that to kick on but it didn't stay above 20 degrees in the caravan so yeah it was really toasty all night. Um, so me and Harry have been and had a shower this morning, what are your thoughts on the shower block Harry? Well it's a bit hmm? old and used now, Yeah. So with it being a new site you would expect it to be a bit better. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, my thoughts exactly as well in a sense. So it has, as we said yesterday, Haven have took this site on. Um, I think in the last year or so, I think I'm not really sure and what have you, but everything else like the clubhouse and stuff like that, we'd have shown you a little bit of yesterday, is bob on really good. You can see it's brand new, all really nice, um, and the touring pitch is really well looked after in that. In all fairness, but the shower block looks like they've just sort of like put a few of their signs and left it as it is from where when it was set up before. So hopefully in the winter they've maybe got a program to sort of bring that up to haven standard, let's say, and what have you. The showers were nice and warm and things, but it's just a bit old and a bit dated. Um, time of year as well, full of bugs as well, like mozzies and stuff like that. So I don't know if we'll use that shower block again, maybe just use our own facilities in here, but we'll see. We'll be all nice and clean anyway. So the plan for today is we're going to have a bit of a chill in the coffee. The girls are going for a quick shower and then we're going to go swimming at lunchtime. Um, me and the kids are going swimming. Sam is going to stay back and chill and spend a bit of time with George and stuff like that. And then we are going to go for a walk into Skegness. So I think this site on foot is about 15 minutes out of Skegness. 
um, and stuff, which is really handy, really good. So it means you don't have to drive and pay for parking and all the rest of it. Um, so I think we're going to go do that. So we'll take you along. We'll give you our thoughts on the swimming pool um, and see what we get up to through the day. All right, so that's swimming done. Like we said, swimming pool's done. We've been swimming for the hour and now we are going for a walk. So you'd have seen us just come out of the site into Skegness. Apparently it's about a 10, 15 minute walk to Skegness, so we'll see. What was your thoughts on the pool, Mr. Harry? Um, yeah, it was good. It was the, the pools and the facilities in that were quite good compared to the shower block near us. Yeah. Black tail, paper, hot tub and sauna. As Neil was just saying then, you have a hot tub and sauna in there, but it's an upcharge. Like the gym as well, which is the same, so I was looking forward to using the gym this weekend, but I pay enough to go to the gym, so I'm not paying any more to go to another one. I'll show for a run. But yeah, Neve, what did you think of the pool then? Good. Good? Enjoy it? Right, so yeah, about 10 minutes it took us, didn't it, to get into the main bit where all the shops are and stuff and what have you. So we'll have a little walk along here and see how long it takes us to get down to the front. Have a little browse. See what tat Neve can find. She loves a bit of tat, don't you? Well, I have my own cat. <laughs> you have your own cat. <laughs> this would to spend some of her own money on some tat. All right, let's see where this takes us. See it calling Neve in. It's like, come to me. Oh yeah, what would you say it took us? Just get into the main bit? Not long, really. Yeah? Like, ten minutes. Ten minutes or so? Five. Until you get to all the bright lights of the seaside. No. Yeah, you can see all your poppies, so people have sent them from all over the world for remembrance to. I've never seen one of them things in the world that Oh yeah? I've never seen one of them. Oh, yeah. 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 So that's our quick pit stop into Skegness. Harry did the um, go-karting. We did a two-seater, Harry did a one-seater. Harry was like Damon Hill. Speedy overtaking everybody. What did you think, Harry? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Are you good? Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. do it again? Yeah. Yeah, do it again. So we need to find some faster cats. Harry's getting ready for his red letter day where he's driving three sports cars um, and what have you in February. So. Posh Boxster yeah. and uh, Eva. And an Eva. So yeah, so that was his trial run. But he was good, he was speedy. So yeah, so we're just gonna work our way back now, find a little for a couple of bits. Um, and then I think just a quiet one in the clubhouse tonight. We're just gonna see what the clubhouse is like because it's Halloween party tomorrow night for Neve. What are you getting dressed up at? Um, a dead cheerleader. A dead cheerleader. Right then, okay, so that's us back from our walk in Skegness. As soon as we work our way back, it was good actually, really nice to see the lights on. Normally we go and it's daytime and summer, so we don't get to see it so dark. We timed the walk back and it was like seven minutes, I think, from the Lidl back to the site, which is just nothing. It's so good and all the families sort of coming back and forth from Skegness. So definitely, if you're just looking for like a holiday break away, 
this site's great really really good i don't think people have found it yet because it's so quiet we've come here we've sat in the pub the richmond arms for a bite to eat and what have you for tea tonight yeah. we've got some good deals on um two mains for 18 pounds kids eat for a quid we've gone for a fancy burger so it's a five pound supplement each but it's still decent and um, i think for all of it, it's about 30 quid in a pub which isn't out really is it but it's so dead they're literally just one of a family in here so quiet which is really strange but i think it's just i think lincoln's half term was last week our half terms this week so that's a part to play in it but normally they were sort of like yorkshire lot travel down this way as well anyways but i don't think people have found out about it yet but yeah we've ordered our food see how long it takes to come we'll tell you what we think about it sorry that i folded it but i like mm -hmm. folding it pizza what do you think good mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. harry's gone for pizza as well mm -hmm. You're good? Pepperoni. Yeah. Sammy's gone for a big burger. With the outbound because you don't like barbecue. Mm. It's better than the last ones. Yeah, no, definitely. Mm. Definitely looks a lot better than what um, Farm with Bear looks like. Mm. Yeah, Farm with Bear is a bit disappointed this one's good. Mm. Oh, good. Right then. We'll get chucked in and give our verdict. Yeah. <laughs> Alright then, so that's us back um, home after day two at Skegness Holiday Park. Um, you saw all us having our meal at um, the Richmond Arms, which is a dog friendly pub on site. I said in the video, really, really quiet, which is really weird, just to two people, two families really on on in there. And I'm like, why? where is everybody? But in the actual clubhouse bit, there's another bar and Sammy's been in there playing bingo. It's actually quite busy in there, so I think everybody heads across there and then obviously people who want a quieter drink and maybe take the dogs with them and stuff go in there, which, which is quite good. Um, so yeah, so in terms of the meals and stuff like the kids were going to rate it, but they've cleared off to the disco and things. Um, I would say a solid 7, 8 out of 10, I'd say. Good pub grub and um, one bag, good deal as well. Um, two for 18, but with a bit of a surcharge for the fancy bag is what we got. And then kids ate for a quid, which was a really good size um, pizza and stuff. You should have seen that. I'm hoping so I took some clips of it um, and what have you and some chips and things. Um, and they were all really full. Um, the food was much better than what we had at Farnwick Bay. Um, Farnwick Bay's was really disappointing, but this one was really good. So yeah, so that's it for us tonight. I think kids have gone off to disco. Um, I'm going to make the bed up then head across to sort of see him for an hour or so. And then I think we'll all come back and just chill out and get our heads down. We've not got anything planned for tomorrow in all fairness. A nice quiet one. Um, so we might not vlog um, unless we go anywhere and do anything interesting. We might pick the camera up. Um, I think it's actually Halloween tomorrow. So I think there's a party tomorrow night so we might vlog that might show you what's doing Neve's getting fancy dress so no doubt she'll want to show everybody what she's put on um and stuff so yeah so that is us for tonight um hi all happy halloween um we're going out for trick-or-treating soon yeah we're gonna all get have some tea uh-huh have some hot dogs about some bacon. I've got my makeup done and I said cheerleader. And she's got some cheerleading what? Pom poms. Pom poms. And I've got another dead cheerleader. Yep. That I'm going to wear next time. On Saturday. Because we're going to a firework display, aren't we? Yeah. So oh, we're going to go trick or treating. Yeah. And then we're going then to we're a gonna party go to disco over there at Haven. Yeah. We're going to take George out in his outfit, aren't we? Bunky, we'll show him. And we're going to try and persuade Harry to put his top on that we bought him for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. He's being very silly, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you are. You were wearing. Go and put it on in the bathroom then. Right and George keeps trying to eat the sausages, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but we haven't recorded a lot today because we've just been chilling. Yeah. Not really done much, Slurry. have we? I've been spent an hour and a half in the laundrette, which I'm not being happy about. Dad did my makeup. Dad did your makeup. How did your hair? And I got my. I did my lipstick. <coughs> yeah. And that's about it, really. Yeah. <coughs> we'll, um, zombie hot dogs for tea. Yeah, I said that. We'll, we'll take you with us yeah. on trick or treating, yeah. can't we? See you soon. See you soon. George has got his helmet on now. Come. Come.
Is our last full day but it's the actually the afternoon so we hadn't filmed loads and loads the last day or two because we're doing the same sort of stuff really in a sense yesterday we sort of chilled out a bit went for a walk in Skegness rode around on the buggy things and stuff like that and then the evening we spent a bit of time at the laser show which you'll see so I took some footage so you should just seen that just now showing you some of the evening entertainment that's on offer around here um, but yeah, so it's the afternoon on our last full day and instead of doing the Halloween party again, which we did the other night, which again you've seen the footage of, we're going to head to Ingle Mills and they uh, have got their season ending like Fear Island, fireworks and stuff like that. So we're going to go get some fish and chips, spend a bit of time around there, taking some of the sights. Hopefully Harry's really looking forward to some scare actors being about. Mm, nope. <laughs> and what have you, so we'll see what's going on. So yeah, we'll take you along show you what it's like, get some footage of the fireworks and stuff, and that's then, that'll be it, that's our last night, but we'll give you our closing thoughts on the site, because we've been quite impressed with it, but we'll all share our views and stuff like that, and, and hopefully we've helped you along with some tips and tricks. So yeah, let's get in the car and head on down there. Crazy lady. Crazy. And good morning everybody so today is pack up day as usual our little outro on pack up day so yesterday like we joined you when we was heading to fantasy island for fear island now we must say it was disappointing wasn't it but yeah it's really like, extremely disappointing we got there and there was literally nothing really going on when you expect sort of like a bit of an event to be happening and stuff like that so we had fish and chips which was lovely and then we headed off back to the club house and what have you so i didn't really have much to show you we got a couple of little clips to show you and mm -hmm. stuff but there weren't really much going on and what have you so yeah we went to the club house had a drink in the club house need had our last boogies at the party didn't you and then we come back and we just sort of chilled out for a little bit and watched a bit of telly um and getting up leisurely this morning and just packing up ready to go um no warning or anything like that so a really quick sort of pack up for us this one really um but anyways thoughts on the site what do you two think good 
Good? Yeah. yeah. No wanna elaborate on that anymore? Just good. <laughs> Just good from Neve. Oh right, Abby, what did you think, Harry? Um Every, like, everything was good except like the toilet block that's just needs improving um other than that this place is pretty much perfect yeah yeah so i have to agree with harry the toilet block definitely needs a revamp it was nice and clean in all fairness sort of after that first day it didn't look like it was too clean but since then it's been really clean um and what have you and the showers are warm and they do sort of you feel nice and clean after it. you don't feel dirty out it's just really dated um to say that they've sort of like in sort of made everything else better aren't they everything else is like havenified isn't it apart from the toilets really um so that's definitely what they need to improve she needs to improve the toilet block the touring facilities apart from that are pretty good the pitches are reasonably level and what have you they could do with some stuff to strengthen the ground up i think because if it rained anymore it would have got quite boggy a few motor homes have been getting stuck and stuff like that but generally not too bad it's not chewing up too much for us um so yeah so that's about it now so obviously it's winter but we do plan to try and use the van through winter well it's autumn heading into winter isn't it mm -hmm. and we've got a trip away planned across that christmas for a christmas party we might not vlog that less it's just a really quick one um going to be hard to really film much and stuff but definitely follows on instagram one field at a time where you'll see what we get up to um and if we fit one in in between that we'll bring you along and show you what we get up to won't we where is the christmas one pontifract so we're on pontifract race course off grid as well in the winter where we love going off grid but generally it's summer so that'll be interesting to see what happens in the winter and um, i'm sure it will be fine if not it'll be fun so yeah so until we see you in the field next time take care ta-ta for now bye <laughs> bye